Hey, Jared Littner here. You know, we've spent a couple days on the water so far. The first day uh, here at Clear Lake it was with Mike Iconelli. Had fun, it was great. Um, yesterday, went out with a couple buddies of mine and, and just kind of cruised around the lake. What we got going on here is there's a One Bass Northern California Pro-Am starting on Monday this coming week. And um, I'm fishing it and then I'm heading to Wisconsin. So obviously Clear Lake's huge. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want to go look at. So we're just going to spend the next couple of days and cruise around. I got Corey with me uh, oh. from Tackle Warehouse. And today he's allowed to make a few casts, um, try to help me out. You know, if I think of something and I'm too lazy to tie it on, I'm going to have my, my partner here do it. And then uh, tomorrow it goes official practice day, so he can no longer fish. So I'm going to try to eliminate all the bad water today, and hopefully he won't catch a fish. But I, I think he will. We're on Clear Lake. So we're just going to kind of cruise around, look at different areas of the lake that we haven't been to. So this far out ahead of the tournament, you're looking more for just fish that are moving into areas, and maybe, or just kind of areas that have got fresh fish coming into them? Or? Yeah, well. And they're all going to be gone by the time? A lot of, like, <clears throat> these fish, when the water temp's warm, like it is, you know, the spawning process speeds up so much. Uh -huh. So instead of, instead of being on a bed or, you know, for three or four or five days, they'll, they could be done in 24 hours. Jeez. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if you see big ones in an area and there's some beds and, you know, bucks up and stuff like that, you know, any any hour of one of those big females can just move up and start spawning. Yeah. So if you see, you know, that's why I just wanted to make a pass through there. Fish. Like if we seen like a ten today on a bed, there's no way it's gonna be there in the tournament. So we'll catch it today. All right. Can we throw a frog here or a punch here? I'm gonna throw a frog. Problem is there's so when you get into areas like this and there's so much grass, you can't just, there's one right there. Did he come off? No, he's still there. The problem is there's so much grass. What a bad fish. Got more weeds than fish that you can't just take off flipping or something like that until you get them kind of isolated, like the depth they want to be in. You know, if there's a combination of grass out here or something like that, because it might take you years to flip one. But if you can find the active ones and then get them in the area, figure out the areas they want to be in, then you can come back through and flip them. These aren't the size. <laughs> size check. You're not gonna, you're not gonna win a tournament at Clear Lake with fish like that. They're fun, but you're not gonna win. Fun fish though. I've seen it before up here, dude. Like where one color, you won't get as many bites, but they'll be big. And other colors. You know, you just get a lot of bites. Yeah. So I want you to try like a white since I'm throwing a dark. Okay. You know, just try Fred's. Fred Frog. Which one do you like? I like the spotted belly frog. Okay. Yeah. Just to see, you know? Yeah. There's no point both of us throwing the same exact frog, yeah. same color. I like the Sunline braid, this stuff's cool. The what? FX2. It is freaking nice, man. <clears throat> On my punching rod, dude, I got 80. Jeez. You see that? <laughs> that There's like a little school of them in here. They're just all little though. You know, another thing I like to do with these frogs is like uh, I'm throwing a, a snag proof Ishes frog actually in these mats. And I like it because in, in that, it's got a flat belly on it and it really stays up on top. And then if you look out here, I don't know if it's gonna work yet, but if you look out here, 
there's obviously there's grass, but there's lanes also in open water. And one of the best open water frogs is right here, the jackal iobi. So when you get to that sparse grass deal and this thing walks, the deal with it is it's so soft that, I mean, if a fish breathes on that, you know, you really don't even have to rear back on it. But I like this one kind of in the sparse grass and the open water. And then I like a mat frog. The reason I can't throw this, or I don't like throwing it on the mat, is just because it is so soft that it, for me, it collects a lot of, a lot of grass and stuff, and, and I get kind of frustrated. But in that sparser grass, open water situation, that's the only frog right there. So I'm gonna try it, try winging it around some of these lanes and see if we can get them to, maybe some bigger ones or, you know, sitting out more in that open water, especially it's kind of still morning, you know, it's only 9.30 in the day. The sun hasn't been baking on the water for a little while yet. So I'll try winging that thing around there. You gotta, that's what's hard about this lake is, not hard, but everything looks so good. Yeah. And maybe there's only, you know, two to four pounders up here, but out 200 yards in that grass, there's four to six pounders. Mm -hmm. And those fish cruising together, they think they're, they're schooled up together and they, they're just out there as like a better area for some reason, like deeper or something else out there? Or? I think what it is is, like where we got those fish is more of like a little mat, mm -hmm. a canopy. This is more kind of sparse and it's not really matted out yet. And I think they travel around, in my opinion, I think they're cruising around in schools and they heard like hitch and stuff because they'll, they'll push the hitch into an area and then they'll just feast on them. Yeah. And so you'll you'll get into like a little scrape, like that little mat, we had three or four bites right there and and then now we haven't had a bite. So the, the key is though, is to fish all this grass, even that way outside stuff. Yeah. And you gotta fish it kind of fast to locate them like we did. And then hopefully, you know, you get into a big enough pot of them and they're good ones. But it might take you eight hours to fish all this and you're still not gonna, you know. You, so much grass. It'd take you freaking two weeks to fish all this. Yeah. So you gotta kinda be, you know, kinda committed to to an area. You can't just, well, they're not biting here and freaking take off and run 20 miles down the lake. Yeah, I guess if you mean determined, they're unless, gonna. Unless you're, you know, you're just not confident in fishing, you know, if you wanna go fish docks or something. But I, I like to, frog and flip and stuff like that so I'll push it for a lot longer than sometimes it hurts me yeah gosh dang look at that one right there dude Pretty good. Oh, what's it take on four five four four pounder five pounder and you think they kind of just they hit they school those hitch up and just wait for one dumb one to come out or come sorry try to get out and just eat their lunch or yeah they'll you know the, there's so much bait in this lake I mean it's not only the hitch it's Shad came back, and they'll just freaking, you know, everything lives in the grass. Yeah. Crawdads, hitch, shad, bluegill. So they don't, you know, they got a constant food source, but the bigger pods of the big fish, they 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 want those hitch, you know. So they'll funnel them. Oh. Little giant, little, 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 little. That's not what you want. But you're still deal. eliminating water though, too, at the same time, or at least areas. The wrong deal. He's dark, huh? He's a grass, grass fish, grass bass. If you look at this thing, this is a, a Mollux frog. It's called a Super Natto. A normal hollow body frog is going to stay on top. Right. They've got that short lip on it. So this is actually a subsurface wake style bait. And depending on you know, how fast you fish it, you could keep it on top or get it down to a foot or two.